recording. Okay. Uh, and that, that way the students will, will be able to, you know, go back to it and they can okay. see and you can hear, hear what, what, she has what our to dean say. has to say. Right. So exactly. pray for all of those that you don't see. They're not here, but they're writing. Amen. So pray for them. And some of them are, are health challenges, as I I recently faced a health challenge. And I'll share that with you before we end class. Mm, amen. Good evening to That's everyone fun. again. It's just such a blessing to be with you tonight. We're all facing some kinds of challenges, but to God is the glory because he has provided the time and the space for us to be here tonight. Mm -hmm. I too am facing my challenges, but you know what? Mm -hmm. I had to get off of my pity horse and get on my good foot. So it's just so wonderful to see all of you and be encouraged. Please be encouraged and know that I'm praying for you and I have you at heart. Um, we're facing graduation coming up in July. And basically what I'm going to be speaking to you about tonight is to find out where you are. What, what are your plans? Are you trying to make uh, um, complete something by, see, we have to have goals. And are, is, is, is that your goal? Is it your goal to complete your, your, your project by in time for graduation? If so, then you know how you have to work or whatever. If not, then do it at your own pace. But I need to know what your plans are. And just listen to Dr. Butler. Follow the, the outline. Follow the guideline. And I promise you, you won't get as stressed out. Because when we, we allow it to pile up on us, that's when we get stressed out. I was encouraging uh, Elder Moore that whatever he has, as raw as it may be, send it to Dr. Butler. Don't worry about trying to get it right. Because if you do, you'll never get it done. As raw as it may be, let's do it. Let's get it out there. I encourage you. I encourage you to write, mm -hmm. send in, write, send in. Because she can see where you are, steer you in the right direction, and we can go from there. I love you all. I'm praying for you. You know, we're family at Long Beach Christian College. And when a part of the family is hurting or a part of the body is hurting, we all hurt. So, yes, I will be checking on uh, Sade House. I was not aware of his, his challenges. And we're praying for the uh, Sister Starks and uh, also all those who are writing. Mm -hmm. And I always say to all of the students who are writing, you have never been challenged until you try to do your thesis or dissertation. Then excuse the expression, all hell breaks loose. <laughs> Things that normally are capped in and under, under the jar will just pop open. But you know what? That lets us know confirmation that there's something great God has in you that he wants to bring out of you so others can read and be blessed by it. And the enemy does not want that to happen. So no. be encouraged. Just know I'm praying for you and praying with you. I'm here for you. Thank you, Dr. Kelly, for helping Dr. Butler. And uh, there's you, you have a lot of resources out here and a lot of people that want you to see. Let's do it. I love you all. God bless you. Now, you. Dr. Lagans, mm -hmm. in the proposals that Ella Moore's proposal which you have, mm -hmm. which is also his chapter one, and mm -hmm. Elder Boyd, I think you have. You should have Pastor Candace. I'll ask her to send it to you. I have it. I, I, okay. She has an updated one so she can send it. But in that one of the summary and the why of this research, they do give, they do give um, what, they, what, what they expect to do, whether they want to graduate and the dates. Remember that that's there. Okay. I don't know. I'm going to check that. You looked at yeah. that the timeline. Last, last I, thing. I will check the timeline. Okay. There's, yes, that's what it is. Timeline. Thank you. All right. All righty. Okay. All minds clear, as they say. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. Thank you for that. Dr. Joyce, you have anything to add before we go to the text? Yes. Keep, uh, always be reading, always be writing, always be researching, keep at it. Uh, we're not quitters. We are success stories in the making. Amen. And so Elder Moore, you're working with, uh, Dr. Joyce is working with you very closely. And I'm, I mean, Elder Boyd, Elder Boyd, uh, you've got Dr. Joyce who's gonna help you uh, get around and do some of that research, okay? Yes, ma'am. All righty. So let's Praise see what God. we can share on the screen. Uh, I'm going to go to the text, just a, a bit of the text. You may see some of the things on here for ethics 
I, I've got it up, but uh, let's see if we can stay within. Um, for, well, let me go to the APA citation. I want to go over that because I sent that to you. Let me see if we can get it. Okay. We, we, get, we went over this last week, so I'm not going to go over it again. I'm just more or less putting it up here because I, I want to uh, remind you of the APA basic uh, citation basics. So when you're quoting or when you are actually, when you use anybody, anyone else's words, just give credit. You can use President Biden's word. You can use whoever's word, Dr. Harden, Dr. Lagan, give them credit. Just give them credit. Just say, Dr. Lagan said this. And there's a way to do this. There's a way to do that. So um, if you are referring to an idea from another work, but not directly quoting the material or making reference to the entire book, all of this is here for you, okay? I'm trying to get down to the part in text. So you may hear me say citations, quotations, but all it means is in text. APA calls it in text because what they're doing, they're saying, we want you to put your, where you got it from in the text. This would be the text. And here's the citation, Jones, the lab, they want you to put the last name, uh, the date, that's the main thing. Pages if you have to. If it's important, you'll put pages. But the main thing is somehow give credit for the author. You can give the author's full name or just their last name. But there's all kind of creative ways to do that. And we'll talk about that as we go along. But again, I need to see your papers where I can give you those little tidbits so that I can show you how to put that in or quote that little, make that little citation. I can tell you how to do it so that it sounds, uh, so that you get all the, cre the credit in. Make sure you read this. There's a lot of little information in it. Uh, short quotations. Short quotations are usually those quotations that uh, you are directly quoting someone, directly quoting them. And when you quote them, it means word, for word. You don't paraphrase it. You don't do it. You just give them, you just take their quotation. Um, if you have to put the page number in there, now uh, I've seen it in the seventh edition of um, APA, you know, because of the computer, really, we can just put um, like two, three, five, and everybody will know that's the page number. But for us, we're putting in the P. Our PP is more than one page. Okay, but you know, the, the computer is getting so smart now, it, it'll do this for you. According to Jones, look how creative we did that. You see how we did it up here when we put Jones in? Look how we did it this time. According to Jones, blah, blah, blah. Or we could say, Dr. Erling uh, Lagan stated that, and right behind Lagan's, Right behind her last name would be the, the year. Dr. Erling Lagan stated that students often had difficulty, blah, blah, blah. We just quoted her and we put the page there. We're still, we're still quoting the author Jones. We're, we're quoting the author Jones. Give me a minute. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm in class. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Everybody heard you, uh, 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 Sister Dina Andrews. I'm in class. I'm in class. But I'm rejoicing. I'm rejoicing. Thank you, prayer warrior. That's all right. I'll talk to you later. I love you so much. God bless you. That was my prayer partner. Oh, and uh, uh, I might as well tell you right now, I, uh, I got good news. The doctor said very good news. I am the benign and there's no cancer. Amen. So uh, praise glory Lord. be to God. Glory be to God. So she's rejoicing because she's been waiting on the news for a while, about a month now. And so everything after it went to the labs and God already had spoken Someone has spoken, the Lord said, it's gonna be all right. 
and mm -hmm. the, and it was so my lord glory be to thank god thank you jesus yes so you you see that we all have struggles as dr lagan said we all going through something mm -hmm. but the lord so god. um and and of course you know i'm just happy that i have the support of, of everyone at the school mm -hmm. um they're going to admit one one more either that's dr joyce coming back in okay Alrighty, so your long question. All I'm asking is you read this, read this. This is all in your textbook. It's in your textbook. If you have a long quotation, we showed you how to indent it. A long quotation. Remember, we looked at Candace's paper, and we showed you what she did with long quotations. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. Okay. All right. So please read that. I just wanted to bring that back to you. Some things you can summarize if you want to. Or you can paraphrase. If you say you don't want to directly quote word for word, take what that person said and summarize it or paraphrase it, however you want to do it. Okay. You may just not want to quote them word for word. And all of this is in here for you. Um, and it's in your text. Okay. I'm going to stop sharing. I'm, I'm, I don't want to go over time. Um, let me go to our text. I'm going to share our text, a few things in the text, just to remind you, again, uh, we're looking for an outline because that's the only way that I know that I'm going to be able to really get in there and, and, and talk, uh, see what you're, you're doing so that I can talk the language. Okay, I think we wanted to go to page, well, hold on a minute, well, an old lady, let's go to page 11. Okay, page 11. This is your uh, Long Beach Bible text. Uh, if you have it, pages may vary a little bit, <clears throat> but let's go to page 11. I hope that you're reading this and I hope that it's helpful for you. I just want to remind you of some things. Let me see. Uh, ooh, 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 okay. Uh, please use the uh, uh, my record keeper and and take a picture of like any books that you have. Use your camera and take a picture of that copyright page and the title. So when you get to where you need to um, when you get to where you need to put in the sources, you've got all that listed somewhere. Let me see. That's on page. Uh, Oh, let's find 18, I think. Again, I'm 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 redoing this book, and so it's uh 16. Is it 16? Try six, try starting at 16. Okay. And then no. go forward. It's 16. Okay. Let's see what because you know, okay. Here we got the record keeper. This will be a little bit off here, but we got the record keeper. There you go. There you go. This will help you keep track of all your stuff. I know that if you if you know how to use the computer, the computer will do this. I mentioned that Candace, most of the, when she puts a, a reference in, the computer automatically, uh, when she puts a, a citation in, the computer goes and does her reference page. But if you're doing it the old fashioned way, then you keep this little piece of paper by you. Make several copies of this paper, of this one. Make several copies. Put down the date that you're looking at, what you're writing about. If you find something on diabetes that's talking about um, um, getting help, maybe you might want to put that in there that Dr. So-and-so or this hospital talked about getting help. Getting help. How do you get help? And maybe that's not your words. It's not your words. It's where you found the information. So you can put down, well, this is the day that I, I got that information. Who gave that to you? Was it a doctor? Was it a nurse? They're the author of it. Who wrote that little, little section of pamphlet? Put their name down. Maybe it was Kaiser Hospital that gave you that information. Put, put that down, the date of publication, who wrote it and so forth, the page number, the city of publication. Maybe you took a, um, you know how they do these inspirationals. Maybe you took something from an inspirational, then take put it here. Inspirationals. 
I have a favorite little inspirational book. And I find that I find a lot of uh, good scriptures from here. There are scriptures on, um, let me see, uh, assurance. There's scriptures on faith. There's scriptures on God's love. So when you're writing and you feel like you want to put a scripture in your writing, go to one of these little books. If not, go to your phone. Go to your phone. I was writing something today and uh, let's see, what was it? it? Something came to my mind about lukewarm faith. It's like God was speaking to my heart to tell one of my classes, I think that's the ethic class, that God, the Lord, the Lord hates lukewarm faith. And I'm like, so where is that in the Bible? What, what is that lukewarm faith? Where do we hear that? So I wanted to put it in the, um, I wanted to put it in the lecture. So I thought I went to my phone and I put lukewarm faith. <laughs> and it came up that it's in Revelation where he talks about the lukewarm church. Is that right, elders? That's right. We got yeah. the man of God here. Right. <laughs> Amen. That's right. So when I thought about that, okay, Lord, I, I first it was to me, God was saying, I want, if you're going to be in the ministry, if you're going to be in the ministry, you ought to know how to hang. And it takes faith. Lukewarm faith is just mm, ho-hum, or you're sitting on the sideline. Super Bowl is coming up. And some people are just going to be fighting in that game. They're going to be every whit bit in that game. Some of us, like me, I'm going to be sitting on the side because they always have plenty of food here for Super Bowl. Okay, so I'm sitting on the sideline. I'm not really in the game. But when you're in ministry, you got to be in the game. You can't be lukewarm. You got to be hot or cold. So I'm looking for that scripture. I'll Google it. But the best thing, I don't have to go to the computer. Let me go to my phone. I can Google it right here. And I just put in, I didn't even put it in. I just said lukewarm faith. Up it came. This is my phone. So that's what y'all have to do, okay? Then put in where you got it from, the scripture. Here's a place for you to put it in the scripture, okay? Put your scripture in there, write your scripture, all right? All in here. Place is already here for you. Bible scripture, include the book, the chapter, the verse, and so forth. Amen? All righty. So that's one of the pages I wanted to talk about. Any questions so far? Let's see what, what else we can talk about here. Uh, we, we've done all this now. See how far y'all come? We already got went through all of this, just trying to get the uh, proposal done. Now we're done. We're on to chapter two. My goodness. Thesis statement. We done did that too. You have come a long, long way. All of this is in your paper. Outline. This is what I'm looking for. You must be able to outline, develop, plan, and organize. I need you to organize all that stuff, all that writing that you got, all that stuff that you've been gathering, all that research that you've been gathering. Now it's time to organize it. I need it to be organized. So you have to tell me uh, what it takes to uh, for burnout, how you're going to organize it. And you look at your material. That's what tells you how you're going to organize it. You sit down and you're like, what have I got here? What is this talking about? Well, this is talking about leaving the ministry. Then everything under that is leaving the ministry. Where you got the information from is talking about leaving the ministry. Maybe you may want to talk about, let's see, I have some notes here. Um, you talk about a stress, the stress factor. Maybe now you the next thing you want to talk about is stress factor. I don't know how you're going to put that in order. Okay. Maybe we start first, we give a little introduction that this is this is the literature review. That's all we have to say in the introduction. This is the literature review, and the literature review is going to do blah, 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 blah. Or I'm writing this and, and it's a unique uh, uh ministry to 
a diabetes. And in the diabetes, I'm going to talk about blah, 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 blah. You know, you might even define it again. Define burnout again. Define diabetes again. Because there's type 1, type 2. Pre-diabetes. Maybe you might want to define that again. In, in, in getting to the journey, your unique journey. You know, what unique journey? Journey and where? Where are you going? What happened? Well, I'm journeying through diabetes. Struggle. Burnout. What happened here? What do you want to talk about? Remember, give the sermon. Now, oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. You know what the Lord is saying? When you lay out a sermon, you lay out a sermon, what do you want to do first? First of all, you're going to pray about this, what you're going to present. You're laying out that sermon. You're praying about it. The Lord leads you to scriptures. He may lead you to some other things that you're going to quote. All of those things, when you stand up, the first thing you might do is introduce your topic. You might introduce that topic. That topic may be, um, oh, mama, just stand up. I just, I presented something like that for one of the Women's Day, Mother's Day uh, program. Mama, just stand up. I couldn't just start talking about mama stand up. I had to say, here's where I'm going. And you start by saying to the women of God, have courage and da 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 and da 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 da. Then you can say, mama, stand up. Mama, just stand up. Don't just, you don't have to drown. And it came about, the Lord dropped it in my spirit because I like to go swimming. I like to go swimming. So I, when I first started back swimming, I was, I was drowning in three feet of water, not even three feet, water wasn't even deep. And my daughter said, mama, just stand up. So how do you present that? You're going to use it as a sermon. How would you present that, lay that out? If I were going to write about it, mama, just stand up or here I am writing about burnout in the pastoral burnout in the church community and how it affects African-American pastors. It's in the church community, but it affects mostly men of color, men and women of color. Because we talked about this before and it's in uh, Elder, uh, it's in Elder Moore's paper. We have, we carry a lot of stuff in the black church. Pastors are not just pastors go home, but they carry a lot of stuff, including um, uh, the stress of other folks. Building, building and, and comforting and, and, and counseling. And, and not only that, but you're with people in grief. See, uh, some of us, some, some churches only have just a pastor. They don't even have assistance. But some of the, the our white brothers and sisters who are in ministry, they may have a whole board of, of those people in ministry. They have a whole thing of it. You know what I mean? But still, they get burnt out too. So the black church is unique in a lot of things. Okay? All righty. So outline, all it is is you, uh, it's, it's your, um, what do they call that? It's your architect, uh, when the architects lay some blueprint. 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 It's your blueprint. So if you could lay out that blueprint to say, this room is going to be here and this, this room is going to be there. It's your blueprint. The front room is going to have this and then the next room is going to have that. It's your blueprint. Okay. That's all we need right now in order for me to really, really uh, help. All right. Recording. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's see what else we can do. Chapter two. Chapter two, I hope that everybody can see the screen. Okay. I'm going to stop sharing for a minute. I don't know if uh, some noise, we have some noise. Can everyone turn on mute? We have some noise. Can everyone turn on mute? Mute, mute.
Okay, got it. There you go. That it. Okay. All right, let's see if we can go back and share a little bit more. And I promise to let you go. Dr. Joyce, timekeeper, don't let me go too far because the, I don't want to wear people out. Okay, what else can we talk about? We talked about, oh, well, let's go back to our text because I really want you to go back and read the text. The literature review, what goes in the literature review? It's all that stuff that you've gathered, your material, the sources. Give a brief introduction when you open up your literature, the chapter two. This is where you're putting all your topics in, all your authors, your articles, statistics, things like that. Amen? All righty. Now I'm gonna tell you something. If we get through chapter two, research methodology will take care of itself. Y'all know that, right? Okay, research, uh, chapter three will take care of itself chapter four, and then five is our summary. We'll be done. It's chapter th two is your biggie. Again, chapter two, whereas chapter one was already outlined for you, we already have the elements there. You've got to come up with the elements in chapter two. Tell me what the elements are here. Let's see if we can talk about uh, chapter two again, some more. This is, I'm not sure what page it is on, but it's in your book. This chapter is a review of the literature. All you're doing is gathering up all the literature. And every time you look at the literature, when you look at the literature, you want to look at the literature and pick out something that you want to share. Okay. Pick out something that you want to share and you share that thing. And maybe you pick up the next book and, and put something here from what you want to share. That's all it is. But the whole thing is you're, you're making a story out of it. You're making a story. Okay. All right. All righty. I need to take questions right here because I need to know where you guys are, what you're thinking, and how I can help. So I'm going to stop sharing. Any questions on how I can help? Chapter two. I have to have an introduction in chapter two also, right? You probably already have it. And all that stuff you've got, you probably already have it. You probably already have it. So just all you're going to say is, Chapter two is the um, chapter two is the literature review, and the literature review. When you send it in, I will fill in for you. I'll help you. Okay. You send it in. I will fill in for you. Okay. You started, Elder Moore. You give me something. I'll put a couple of things I was going to put down, and so I, I'll get that in there, and I'll send it to you so I know. Just like I, you're doing a sermon. Your sermon, yeah. you would say, today I'm going to talk about something. That's your introduction. Today yes. I'm going to talk about blah, 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 when Jesus was walking uh, in the road of Galilee, and da, da, da. That's your introduction. Yes. Today I'm going to talk about um, burnout. I'm going to talk about pastoral burnout. And that's your introduction. Yes. All right. Okay. I, I think we have Pastor Candace is going to come on the line, and we're just waiting for her to get in. But that's your introduction. You already have it. You just don't know it. That's why I said I need to see what you got so that right. I can help you get it organized. All right, then. The same for Elder Boyd. I cannot help you unless you send me something. If I don't see nothing, I don't even know whether you all are writing or not. Okay. The, okay. Outline, for, the outline for Elder Boyd was sent earlier, well, a little while ago, so you can review it after. Okay, we have an outline for Elder Boyd? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Okay, remind, remind me or, or yes, see, so I, I can see it again. Yeah, okay, Pastor Candace is on the line and um, I'm going to see if she has a few things that she can share with you because she's been writing for a while yes. and she has been faithful to it. 
She, she's been, yes. been stopped and she picks it up and she goes again. So I want to see what she has to say as far as encouraging you. Last week, we shared uh, Pastor Candace's work, okay? And how she struggled through that. Still writing, she's in chapter two, but she's also did some other things besides chapter two. She's put in her acknowledgement page, her dedication. She's done an abstract. I believe she did an abstract. I'm not sure. Yes, I've done my okay. abstract. Yeah. I'll, let you, I'll let you talk to them and, okay. and tell us what your progress is, what you've gone through. Um, and uh, Good evening, everyone. God bless you all. Good to see you. Uh, uh, Elder Moore and Elder uh, Boyd, it's good to see you guys. Haven't seen you guys in a minute. Um, my friend and colleague, uh, Dr. Butler and Dr. Joyce, uh, good evening. Um, thank you for allowing me to uh, just share my journey. So um, I should have been done with this project because I graduated in 2017. However, you know, um, I've really taken some things off of my plate so I can focus on on getting this done so I don't pick it, lay it down and pick it back up. And as, as Dr. Butler has stated, I picked it up, put it down, picked it up, put it down. And, you know, I prayed about it and, 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 you know, God says he can't elevate me unless I finish what he's already given me to do. And, you know, if we get busy doing busy, then we forget about what we're called to do and and, and I do believe that God has called us all to go to a higher level in our education. And with that comes, you know, to whom much is given, much is required, right? So it require in order for us to get our master's and our doctorate degrees, what is required is for us to write, right? So, so in, in that, in that, you know, I, I really had to ask God to give me discernment on what I should be doing in my own ministry and in my own personal life. So that way I can dedicate the time to, um, to write. So, you know, and God, when you ask God for something, you, if he sees it fit, he's going to give it to you. So, you know, he's moved some people, you know, around He's, you know, giving me um, a, um, his approval to, you know, step away from some things in, in my ministry work so I can finish my book. So even though I stepped away from my book, I didn't step away from ministry and ministry is writing, right? So when you write, you're still doing ministry, but you're doing it in a different aspect. You're researching, you know, what God says God's word is about uh, whatever your topic is or whatever your book is. You're, you're investigating, you're, you're reading, you're getting the scriptures, you're talking to different people, and that's ministry. That's what we do in ministry. We research scriptures, we talk to people, and, and, we, and we come to a conclusion on what we want to write about. So, you know, I say all that to say, stay focused stay writing and and even if it's for an hour a day you know right right it's like picking up the pennies off the ground you know you keep picking up the pennies eventually you're going to have a bank of pennies right so i've dedicated myself into writing two hours every night right and and i try to i try to write at least two to three pages in that time span. Sometimes I make the two or three pages, sometimes I don't because it requires me to read and interpret what um, research materials I have into my own words, right? Into the writing. But my encouragement for you is before you start writing, pray. Ask God to give you the direction to write in whatever category or topic or whatever you're doing. So I've completed my um, table of contents. I and that may shift or change because as I'm writing, I'm noticing 
seeing all of the all of the points that I said I wanted to bring out are kind of uh, included in other topics topics. So I'm narrowing down those topics and I'm including more information in the most important parts rather than every little thing making a topic out of every little thing. And that that helps cut down the convolution in my mind should it go here should it go there but i'm more focusing on the what the when the where the why and the how right so that helps me narrow down what my thought processes are in those different areas so i've written my table of contents i've written my abstract i've written my dedication page I've written my acknowledgement page. I've done chapter one and that like that chapter one will change. Um, I've done uh, some of my back material. Um, I've set up um, on Google, my brother showed me how I can um, on Google something, I can't remember what it is, but there's a way that you can elect electronically send your questionnaire to people without having to gather up a whole bunch of paper or print out different um, questionnaires for people to fill out because with us being in the technology age, nobody wants to do a paper, sit down and fill this out. Some may, some may not, but in this technology age, you know, um, it's easier to send them the questionnaire, they can complete it and send it back. And when the way that you set it up on Google, I think it's Google Docs or something, it, whenever they complete it and they send it, you get it right back. And it creates a, a power, not a PowerPoint, but a, um, what is it called? The, um, the Microsoft, uh, what is it? Um, Excel spreadsheet on each question and how that person answered that question. And also you can incorporate in that spreadsheet a graph. So it can tell you 20% answered this way, 20, 30% answered this way, and you know, so on and so forth. So you can include that in your summary of, of your of your of your paper that you're writing or your book that you're writing and that adds to more pages in your um in your writing because you know um you may or may not choose to have graphs and pictures or whatever in your paper i just thought that that was such a cool thing to do is that way i don't have to be keeping up with a lot of papers as soon as they send it back bam there it is it, it automatically goes to a spreadsheet so i've done that i've filled out my questionnaire and those questions will change as well everything just know that just write and if you have to make changes it's okay because you're perfecting your paper and also what i've done um let me pull up my paper i should have had it ready but i've done a lot um i'm on page 37 of chapter two so, and when I started out um, consistently writing, I was on page 25. Now I'm on page 37 because I have prayed and asked God, you know, to just give me the strength, the energy, and the forethought to write, you know, and he knows how important this is to me and how important it is to, you know, the people that I'm connected to, Dr. Butler, Dr. Hardin. All of the staff and the professors, they want us to succeed. That's what we're all here for, is to help each other ex exceed and, and, and excel, right? And so, you know, we've got a plethora of knowledge uh, in just in our at our fingertips through these awesome men and women of God. So my encouragement to you is just write, 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 write. Even though, even though you may not think it's not making sense, but just set aside a time every day, if possible, you know, depending on your schedule and just write, just write. And you'll be surprised once you get in the flow of writing and, and conditioning yourself. Okay, now it's time for me to write. Once you sit down, once you pray before you write, it'll start flowing. 
have your have um like if you can have two screens right this is me i have my laptop and i have another screen so i write on my laptop screen but then on my big screen i have my um transition words i have a dictionary up i have a thesaurus up even though thesaurus is in word but i have all of those extra um guides and tools on my other screen so i can just click on that you know if i'm getting something um off of google scholar or another uh, website i can have that up on my other screen and i while i'm reading it i can tra translate it into my into my book so those are some helpful tools that you know i hope you it helps you guys and hope you take into consideration but that's what that's what i'm doing and it, and it's helped me quite a bit any questions well wait a minute before we ask questions let me ask pastor edwards when you say write, what do you mean are you writing your own words or what are you doing are we, are well, we I'm writing in my own words and some parts of it are in my own words. Mm -hmm. Some parts I, I take, I take from the material, not a lot, but a lot. I mean, not a lot, but what I do take, I format it to show this is from this. Like if it's over, um, a hundred and thirty words or thirty words. There's a a way that you have to format that in your paper. But most of my paper is in my own words. I quote where I get the my source from, yeah. Yeah. and I don't know if you guys know. And I have um, incorporated in my word document is called Perda, and what that does it formats your bibliography, meaning. Um, and it has APA set sixth edition, which I think that's what they're required. It has seventh and eighth, but we use sixth edition here. And what that does when you, after you put in your, you, whatever you're saying, and you're quoting where you got the source, there's a, there on the program, you choose where you got your source, the date, the time, and all of that. And it pops it right into your paper and it keeps a running bibliography for you. And that way you don't have to worry about is it for is the is it formatted the right way on your reference page. Right. Okay. So when when we are writing, we are writing, we are first of all, we've got to gather the material. You've got to gather right. the, the material, the sources. Right. Because you are not the expert yet. So when we are writing using our own words is more or less we're 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 putting that transitioning that word right into that source so it right. transitions to help us do that that's right. our own words that we're putting in there right but when you're quoting someone you are getting using their information to say dr so-and-so said that da 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 right. da and right. that's what the right is so you're not really doing your own writing per se you are incorporated into right. your sources, your citations. Right. Okay. Right. And so, first of all, you've got to get the information. I heard her say that she's writing, uh, but you're just writing. You and but just don't lose the source. Remember right. where you got the thing from, right. so that you can put it in some kind of order. It may right. not fit where you have it. You may say, "I'm gonna move it up. I'll move it back. I'm gonna put it right. in the middle." But right. right, and then it'll come to you how right. you're going to organize it. She said, right. ministry is right. writing. When you get that in right. your head that what I'm doing is a work, I'm doing a work that I'm called to do, this ministry of getting this down to help someone, to encourage someone, mm -hmm. to inspire someone. Right. Um, make sure you send a copy of your, uh, your chapter one to Lagans. I will. And, and make the latest one, the, the latest one that you got with all the corrected questions okay, that, one yes. that we just did. Yes, I'm going to um, do that after we get off the line. I'm okay. going to go back she, and, she and was on earlier. She I'm was sorry? She was on earlier and she wasn't sure whether, oh. she, whether she had your latest one. No, she doesn't. Okay. 
She does. Sure I'm going to, that. yeah, I'm going to update it and then I'll send it to her. Okay. And mm -hmm. then she, she got a copy of all the things that we suggested that you, uh, okay. Clean up. She has a copy of that. Right. So she's aware yes. of that. Okay. So good okay. job. Excellent job. I like the way you, you brought that out. You explained it. Your table of contents. She said, I've done my table of contents, but her table of contents started out as an outline. Right, right. It's her outline. Right. The outline becomes the table of contents. Right. Okay. So she right. worked with that and she said, it may change. Right. Because we're right now we're in a drafting. Right. When all of this is presented to the deans for your graduation in May, mm -hmm. but that's when it's due in May, because mm -hmm. June, is when everyone is going to look at your stuff. Right. July, you'll graduate. Right. Okay. She talked about that. So her table of contents is her outline. She also talked about, she said, I worked on my upfront material, meaning her upfront, her title, her table of contents that's upfront, her abstract is upfront. Um, I think she's done some dedications. She also, and that's her upfront stuff. She talked about the back matter. The back matter is the reference page. Right. Some people call it a bibliography, but in APA, it's the reference page. Mm -hmm. Okay. So she's 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 using also a computer program. Mm -hmm. Some of us can't use these pro computer programs. Although I had one when I did mine, but my son was the mastermind. Right. He had to help me. Okay. I mentioned that in my book, Perla. Mm -hmm. There are other things that can help you write these papers, but right. if you you you, you, know, you don't want to get those apps or those programs, that's okay. So she talked about the back material. She said there are a program that will help you do the grafting if you want to do a graft. Mm -hmm. She's already done her uh, what do you call that back matter that uh, oh the the she sent out she's she's getting ready to send out stuff to people that she's going to interview. Right, right. And so all the things that she have. It's called human subjects. Mm -hmm. so all the stuff dealing with human subjects where mm -hmm. she'll actually be talking to someone. Mm -hmm. But this is the way her, your paper may be different from hers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your paper may be a little different from her. She's going to be interviewing people. You may not even interview anybody. Mm -hmm. Okay. But because she's going to interview, she has a brother who is able to help her Mm -hmm. know how to get those statistics and those questions and, mm -hmm. and make it come out as a draft, a graph. Mm -hmm. Statistics. You may have graphs, you may not. That's optional. Right. It just, the, the more you can put in your paper, fine, you can put it in. Also, in my back matter, I have my interview e consent form. Mm -hmm. I have my letter to the respondents in my, in my back matter. And then my reference page. That's what I have so far in, in my back matter. And I also want to bring up, you may want to have a separate Word document for stuff that may not fit right away. So you want to move it to somewhere else. That way you don't lose that information and keep a separate uh, a separate document oh, yeah. for that because mm -hmm. you might be writing and then you'll remember, oh, I wrote something like that before. And, and then we, you all we have got, it written we out already, that. but now and you can just pop it into where it needs to go. Yeah, we went through that. I went through that with Pastor Candace because a lot of times she would write stuff. Then the next time she would write something, it would be completely different. <laughs> so I don't know how we did it, but we finally <laughs> brought it all together. Yes. Okay. But yes. she's giving you the great point right there. Let me tell you, let me go back and tell you what she just said. When you are working on your, no, forget, forget chapter one, move it over there. Don't let it get mixed right. up in chapter two right now. Right. Chapter two stuff that you're working on, let that be that. If you mm -hmm. finish anything, have a folder for chapter two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that you can know this is complete, this is not complete. Right. Don't have several things going because I went through that Ooh, I've gone through that with students. They forget that they already wrote right. something. Here. Then when they turn it in, I'm like, you already gave me that. Yeah. Or either, where'd you get this? You know right. what I mean? So be organized. Have a 
a separate thing that you're working on. I don't know how y'all do it. Y'all, y'all, y'all computer experts, but have a folder or something. So what I did was I put all of my upfront stuff in one folder, my chapter two in one folder, um, and my back matter in another folder. That way I have only one page or only one document that I'm working on because working let me on. tell you, you'll get confused. You'll get confused. I know I did. So I'm like, oh, let me move this over to somewhere else. That way I can keep track of what I'm writing, how many pages I'm writing, you know, and that way I'm not confused. Is this chapter one? Is this chapter two? What did I, you know? Mm -mm. She said, stay focused. Stay Focus. Mm -hmm. Do a little bit. Don't get overwhelmed. That's what Elder Moore is writing about now is burnout. I don't want this paper to burn burn you out. Don't let this paper overwhelm you. Don't let it take you away from the things mm -hmm. of prayer and thing. Mm -hmm. Don't let it overwhelm you. We, we, we may have to put it down, pick it up. Mm -hmm. But Elder Moore is writing something different. Elder Boyd is writing something different. Uh, Lady Starks is writing something different. Everybody's writing something different. Your paper's not going to all be a, the like, but we're all come somewhere close to the formatting. Mm -hmm. Okay? We all know how, because this is, after all, research. That's mm -hmm. all it is. Is mm -hmm. you go out, research, you go find out who's talking about burnout. What are they saying about pastors leaving? That's a research right there. What if, mm -hmm. Not just one person, go get and see what that other person say. You may have three or four people talking about pastors leaving the church. Mm -hmm. You may have three or four sources talking about how they overcame, uh, uh, on the, how they overcame on the journey mm -hmm. to, to their health was affected. Mm -hmm. My struggles. Look and see what, who else, what they said and how they said it. Mm -hmm. So that you can use some of that verbiage, some of that wording. Okay. At this time, please um, get that to Lagans. I already uh, told Dr. Lagans, Elder Moore's paper is there. Uh, Elder Boyd's paper is there. I believe I even sent uh, Pastor Stark's paper. So they are there. And so she, she, she had to go to the office because I told her I sent a, um, I didn't send a hard copy, we sent an email copy. So she have, if she don't get it, we'll send it again to her because we sent all that. And so she wants to see that. And I'm like, we sent it to you already. <laughs> we sent it to you. Mm -hmm. When I say we, I mean Dr. Joyce. Right. Okay. Now, if you have any questions for Pastor Candace, please, please let her help you. Any questions for Pastor Candace? This is how we have always helped one another. Mm -hmm. Is we look at one another's papers and see where we can get a little pointers from that. Mm -hmm. We looked at Pastor Candace's paper last week. We didn't take it too much apart. We, we critiqued it. We tried not to destroy it too much, Pastor Candace. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. You have been a great help. The Lord sent you, I know. Thank you. Any questions? This is your time to say, how did you do this? And what did you do? This is how we used to do when we were face to face. Mm -hmm. We had Dr. Miller with us because he's good. Yes. No questions for me? Okay. Nobody, Elder Moore, nothing? <laughs> I have one thing real quick. Um, in your resources that you're gaining, um, and materials that you're acquiring, please invest in a flash drive and save your work to a flash drive. If there's a yes. power outage, everything is gone. Hello? Please get a, please what, get a flash drive. What Dr. Joyce is talking about, back up. Yes. yes. Back up. Oh, Lord. I did mine when we did floppy disk. Y'all know what a floppy disk is? Yes. Okay. Yes. If something that floppy disk went in there the wrong way, got chewed up, you lost your stuff. You lost your stuff so, so many times. I would yes. put as much as I can in a hard copy. Mm -hmm. If not a hard copy, get you that little, what they call it, thumb drive, what, it, what they call Flash it? Drive. Yeah. Flash drive. Flash drive. Yeah. Flash drive. Back up your stuff. Save Don't it. lose Save your it. sermon. 
You know, the devil's busy. He'll lose your sermon. Mm -hmm. You got a good sermon going and you got a good pop, it's gone. Hello? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Elder Boyd? Yeah, I have, uh, Pastor Candace, you had mentioned several documents that yes. you were able to use to, you know, save and, and move forward on. Where do you go to get those documents? I know you go on your, your laptop, but where, I mean, how do you uh, punch them up? You just, to... you just, you just open a new word, a new word. Like, like you, when you go on your, when you go on your computer and you open up your word, just open up a new word document. Now, Elder Boyd, I suggest you might talk to Dr. Um, Joyce. Kelly. Okay. So she's 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 good on that. Yeah, that's what okay. I do. I just put it all in a in a in a different word document, and then I'll just type it. I'll just do like, um, uh, you know, whatever it is, like my table of contents. My, uh, I mean, like I have my table of contents, my acknowledgement, my um, abstract, all of that front matter. I have in one document. And then in another document, I have chapter one. In another doc document, I have chapter two, right? And then when I get through with it all, I put it when whenever I finish chapter two and I'm ready to move on to chapter three, then I'll put all of those together because then I know I'm done with all of that. Because chapter three, four, and five is not as hard to do as chapter two. But I have only chapter two in one word document. Okay. okay, okay, the best suggestion that I'm going to give you, you see this little thing right there? Flash drive. See that flash drive yeah. right there? If something happens to your computer, when you get to working, make sure that that stuff that you're working on is on a flash drive. Mm -hmm. If you And then, then the other thing is, make hard copies. You got chapter one done, I hope you have a hard copy of chapter one. Yes, ma'am. Because if my computer goes down, you go like, Mother, Mother Butler, can you give me a copy? I'm like, oh, I don't have it. If something happened to, you know what I mean? So and they're so inexpensive, those flash drives. Put it on a flash drive, mm -hmm. all your stuff. That way you can keep it. You mm -hmm. can keep it, keep it, but, and make a hard copy. Otherwise, you're putting stuff into folders so that you can kind of get a little organized. My proposal is in this folder. My chapter one is in this chapter, in this folder. Chapter two is in this folder. Mm -hmm. My back stuff, all my references is in. And then we all can't use Perla mm -hmm. because I recommend it if you can use it. Grammarly and all the rest of those things. But I didn't really, I didn't really like gra Grammarly. Yeah. Um, I like, I love my Perla. I love yeah. Uh, you have so to try much. it because it, I don't have to think about if it's formatted correctly. It just yeah. automatically does that. Yeah. Now there's another one. I just can't think of the name of it right now, but I know the high school kids are using it. Mm -hmm. I, I have a high school. Well, she's graduated now, but when she was in there, I'm like, "What? You mean you got something that fixed a paragraph for you? That it does so what? The high school kids got that. It does what?" It, it 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 she put the paragraph in and somehow it 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 fixed that paragraph and everything for her. Oh wow. And I'm like, what? Is that fair? <laughs> okay, I am done, done, done. Is there any questions for me? I, I am praying, uh, wanting to see all this completed by May. May, that's when I really have to get everybody's work in. <laughs> In order for to get into the deans for graduation. <laughs> and again, as Dr. Lagan said earlier, as Pastor Candace can attest to, if you have to put it down, you have to put it down. Yeah. Come back I, and I do it another it day. Because it was getting overwhelming for me. However, <coughs> I'm just really, like I said, I took some things off of my plate. And now I'm just focused on completing this by May. Right. And I'm almost there. All right. You, you are there. 
You are there. I told the gods, you're done. <laughs> you're going to be done. Okay. God bless now, you. I had to go to my pastor when I was working on my stuff and say, pastor, this is way back in the master. <clears throat> I, pastor, some things I might be working on a Sunday. You know, and I had to let my pastor know. So let your yeah, pastor I told mine that too. I told him just a little bit more time. Give me a little yeah. bit more time. Let him know. <laughs> yeah. And if you're a miss missionary, you go to your missionary <laughs> president, uh, go to your district missionary, let mm -hmm. your district missionary know that, that you're writing, you're, you're working on mm -hmm. something and, you know, you let the pastor know. Always let right. your pastor know. Right. All righty. Anything else? If not, all minds clear. We're going to ask Pastor Candace to pray us out. Amen. <clears throat> Let us all go. I'm so proud of you guys um, and where you're at right now in your writing. Um, writing is not for everybody. Some choose to write, some choose to stop. But I'm so proud of you guys for, you know, persevering and, and pressing through and, and just keep on moving. Uh, both of you men of God are are such a great example and Amen. Amen. Your, your calling and, and the wisdom that you have and I just thank you I thank you um, for just listening to what God wants you to do Amen, Amen. So let us Amen. go to the word to the Lord and for most gracious heavenly Father we just thank you oh God Woo! we thank you Lord. We thank you and we give you all the praise, all the glory and all the honor this evening, oh God, hallelujah. Lord, we thank you that we can come together on this platform, oh God, and just share our experiences and, and learn from one another, oh God. And Lord, let us just keep in mind that what we're called to do, that our writing is ministry, oh God, hallelujah. And Lord, we just thank you for giving us the subjects that you want us to write about oh god hallelujah lord on burnout and millennials and and whatever else that we want to share with the world oh god and how we can overcome these things oh god by your word by you oh god giving us the inspiration to write oh god hallelujah we bless your name jesus and lord we thank you oh god we thank you for being our friend our savior yeah, our healer oh god no, no. We thank you, oh God, that yeah. you are looking out yeah. for us, oh God, and you're clearing out all of those things in our mind and giving us the right things that you want us to put down on paper, oh God. Let us not get confused and, and discouraged, oh God, in our writing, oh God. Lord, we thank you, oh God, that you have called us for such a season as this, oh God. Even though we may go be going through these worldly things like COVID and mass planes and all of that we still praise your name and we still Amen. will fight to the end oh god for all those things for righteousness oh god hallelujah we love you and we praise you oh god as we continue to write oh god hallelujah give us energy when we feel tired oh god give us strength oh god when we feel like we can't just write another word oh god hallelujah glory to your holy name and lord even though we we may not want to write on our chapter two, oh oh god give us inspiration to write on another part of our book oh god hallelujah glory to your holy name jesus we thank you for our instructors oh god dr butler and dr choice oh god for always being there for us oh god and helping us and strengthening us and encouraging us that we can do it oh god hallelujah glory to your holy name jesus glory thank glory you god you, for this school oh god hallelujah glory lord to your holy name. College. we thank you for dr Hardin. we thank you for lady betty we thank you for dean miller we thank you for dr lagans oh god we thank you for all of those who are attached to us to help us succeed oh god hallelujah now lord i ask that you pour back into them for what they're giving us glory to your holy name jesus thank you god thank you god thank you god lord you're a mighty and wonderful god hallelujah 
thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for giving us the means to write, oh God, hallelujah, to have computers, oh God, to have the resources at our fingertips, the, the, the access to other materials, oh God, help us, oh God. Lord, your word says, ask and it shall be given unto you. Knock and the door shall be opened. So Lord, I just ask that you open our minds, open our spirits, oh God, for what research that we need, oh God. Lead us to those right resources, oh God. Hallelujah, we bless your name, God. Now, Lord, as we depart from this line, give us a, a, a spirit of accomplishment on what we've done so far, oh God. Hallelujah. Give us a great night's sleep, and we thank you, and we praise you. In Christ Jesus' name, thank God. Amen. Amen. Spirit of accomplishment. Spirit of accomplishment. It's yours. You have already accomplished a great deal. Yes. Thank you. Have a good evening. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you, elders. Thank you. God bless y'all. Have a good night.